Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So now you might be wondering at some point, what do I have left to do? Well, there's two ways to check that. For one thing, you can go over to the Marion Club Lounge, which I'm going to do here to switch back to singles, because as you know, I've still got some single stuff to do over at the dunes. So there we go. But if you go in here, look at that, there's your trophies. The trophies, yeah, you can actually check which trophy you got from which place for doubles or singles or whatever. But an alternate way to do this is to go to the story status and go to each individual tourney and you go down to the bottom, see if you got the trophy, there's a trophy. <laughs> so yeah, there are, oh, let's see, no dunes, no dunes there and then doubles cup. You know, you've got the Dunes trophy there, if you go to match play, you can see... Oh no, I didn't do the match play! Oh no, we got the doubles! Oh, you can see... Oh, we did do the doubles! Okay. <laughs> but yeah, you get it. You get it here. So everything is in the story status page, mainly when you're out and about. Or you can go and check out the trophies when you're over and switching characters. Although it's significantly longer, if you think about it. <laughs> Because you gotta check each individual, the trophy, yeah, like that, and otherwise you just be able to just scroll right through that stinker, and yeah, anyway, singles, <laughs> here we go, and uh, as you would expect, when, when I play singles, I am probably going to demolish the tournament in every which way imaginable. <laughs> Uh, I'm not sure eat all those cacti, and I'm going to try and stop on top of the slope. Well, not actually on the slope, but on top of the mound. Well, I, well, maybe this isn't even a mound, it's more like a flat plateau of sorts. And yeah, I got, of course, got a wrist try. It <laughs> doesn't really matter though. And, and, uh, I think that's gonna be work out well. And regular backspin. I think it's gonna hit into the slope. And then it's going to stop. That is my prediction. Ooh, it bounced a little to the side. That's okay though. I thought the wind was gonna push it more to the left, but all right. Uh, I don't think I have to move the cursor, so I'm just gonna hit over the mark because it's uphill and make the putt. <laughs> and the dominance has already started. Well, technically not because there are a couple holes ahead, but still. But still, there's 17 holes to catch up on, and I would like to get up there again, so... Upsy doodle! <laughs> and yeah, that's gonna be in very nice position, as long as it doesn't get... St oh! Maybe not! I was gonna say, as long as it doesn't get knocked to the side too badly, but well... Mm, that's... that's... yeah, that's workable. Uh, well... Mm, eh, eh, that's an awful high trajectory for a three wood. But I'm gonna go for it. Because <laughs> I'm not really sure how it's gonna turn out based on my height with the wind and whatnot. That's what I mean about the high trajectory. I mean, I would prefer the high trajectory, but oh, no. Came short. Came short. That's alright. That's alright. We could still make the chip in. <laughs> Let's see if it rolls in. Ah, I, I'm coming up short everywhere on this hole. Well, I tapped a little bit to the left. And let the slope plop it in the hole for the remainder. And all three. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna smash this one down there. And maybe, just maybe, I can make it in two, but I wouldn't count on it. <laughs> Use the slope to my advantage there. And 252. No, that, that's that's not doable. So. I just wanted to see with my upgraded drive distance. So, nope, not making the par 5 and 2 this time. <laughs> anyway, that should be a good position for birdies. Well, one birdie. <laughs> uh, I just want to keep it on that bottom tier because that's the flat spot. And you know, I like my flat spots around the holes. So, I don't have to move the cursor or anything like that. Yeah, that'll do. I'm on, I'm on a little bit of a slope, but since it's downhill, it won't have as much of a slope as it would if I was on, like, an uphill slope or whatnot, so yeah. R3! Um... Wow. 
Uh, this is awkward between the wind and the cross slope, but I think I can manage with some super backspin, especially since I overhit that. But we'll see. Oh, 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 oh yeah! See, overhit just a little bit. That, that's that's what I call a misjudgment. <laughs> the misjudgment is still a birdie. Hole of five. I mean, I missed hit, I should say. Not a misjudgment, because I knew I overhit that. And, yep, we're off! To the races, which really isn't much of a race, but I do play pretty quick when I'm in singles. <laughs> as long as I don't have a really complicated shot, I, I am usually around the green, or on the green in two. And uh, the backspin is just going to control it a little bit, because it's going to have such a low trajectory with the driver. Yeah, that's that's pretty good there. Almost on the flat spot there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna assume I don't have to move the cursor again. <laughs> and yep, it goes right in. <laughs> See how smoothly things go. <laughs> Just so much different in singles than it is in doubles. Um how about right over there? That should keep me from going down the slope by hitting the slope and bouncing into the cactuses or something like that. There we go. It was a little bit of a side slope hit there, but that's all right. It's hard to tell on the up uh, the overhead screen, so I'm not gonna not gonna complain to myself too badly there. <laughs> now for this one, I want to be just behind the hole because of the flat spot. So I'm not actually aiming to be right right next to the hole. I just want to go and whoa. <laughs> That was a close one. Almost bounced in, but yeah, that's exactly where I wanted to be. I was behind the hole because there's a flat spot, and of course it'll go in the hole then. <laughs> uh, oh, there's a lot of flat spots there, so as long as I'm on the green, I should be. <clears throat> excuse me, in birdie territory. I hiccup. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's good. Should go down. Oh no, it didn't really. Hmm. Hmm, 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 oh, yeah, see that's a problem. Now this is one of those kinds of shots that'll actually take me a little bit longer to calculate. <laughs> uh, if I hit, as long as I hit short and then backspin at that low trajectory, I should, in theory, be able to stop it. Because the fairway will give it a little more friction, and yeah, that, that works nicely. <laughs> I, I guess even if I ended up on the back, as long as it's like back center, it wouldn't have mattered at all because there's no slope there anyway. Like even back uh, back center right is semi good as long as I'm not too far right. Uh, but I would be mainly aiming left more than anything because you know that the hole is on more of the right side. But yeah, anyway, I'm talking about a hole that has passed. I am now playing hole eight. Let's control that. Oh no 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 no! Don't touch rough. The wind should have made me carry that. Well, now I gotta actually aim. <laughs> well, let's see. I just need to shimmy it a smidge over to the right and hit it harder past the mark because it's through the fringe and uphill a bit. Oh, yep, goes in. <laughs> no problem. And can I? No. <laughs> Uh, every time I come to the song, I'm gonna be like, "Can I?" Until I have the right, uh, the high drive distance that I need to make it there. But for now, not going to happen. That looked like it was going straight for the cactus, but that was just—I don't know. It's an issue with the 3D screen. It just seems like it's not gonna make it over, but it does. Oh, oh, can I? Uh, I'm. Oh. Ooh, I can make the green in two, even without the island. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna have to use the rough to, pr uh, to stop the ball, though, probably. So I'm gonna aim about there, and a little. Pff, I hit that. I under hit that one, so it's not gonna go well. But I had a shot at getting here in two. But yeah, CJ. So oh, I buried it. <laughs> uh, this is awkward. Yeah. At least it would be in real life. But this is Mario Golf, so I can just kind of hit this normally. <laughs> Oh, uh, well, not quite. The wind pushed it over to the side more than I ex expected. And oh, the slope is bringing it down, but I don't really have to worry about that too much. Because I don't have to move the cursor at that angle. 
There we go, through nine holes. We are, of course, in the lead. Well, at least I am. I don't know how well you're doing. Chances are, if you've been working on your technique, you are probably about the same. <laughs> it's not that difficult when you get the hang of it. Anyway, fairway green. Looks like another one of those boring outcomes of the holes, huh? <laughs> Uh, actually, I should go underneath the, uh, in the impact marker mode, give myself a little little extra lift, and oh, miss hit that one a little bit. But luckily, I have improved my stats so that I won't be too far off. See, <laughs> that's again what I call a miss hit. Miss hits are still on the green, uh, and I just moved it a smidge to the left. There we go, birdie, <laughs> and next hole. Hopefully I'm not going to have just that one blemish again like I did at the Palms Club because uh, that that's just kind of frustrating in a way to have two nearly technically perfect rounds. <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, this might be a par territory then. But yeah, uh, what I mean is that it's just like it's more heartbreaking when you are really close to a technically perfect round as opposed to... Uh, one that you're really far away from, and so far this is looking like a pretty good birdie card, so... <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And do not expect to get so many birdies in real life. Golf is much harder in real life. <laughs> the fact that it is the hardest sport in the world. Uh, 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 hmm. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're not. <laughs> I thought I was past the cactuses. That's how I was looking. If I was good or not, but well, this, this is workable ish. Yeah, I'm gonna hit it just up on the slope. Not, I'm not aiming for the hole here. I'm just trying to go right, uh, right of the hole and land it on the slope. Uh, I mean, right, right on top of the peak. Well, well, that's not exactly what I was going for, but that that'll have a good outcome though. See, I was trying to go like uh, way over. Like somewhere around like on this this area here past the hole, but well Anyway, I probably shouldn't have moved the cursor to show you that <laughs> But I'm centered. Don't worry. I know how to aim <laughs> Yeah, I know my pixels And anyway and, 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 and I just want to curve it around that slopature and See if I can stop it on top because that'll be in the best of positions. Otherwise, if I don't, it could bounce me in the rough. And yeah, I'm not gonna make the green in two anyway, but I just wanted to see position wise how good I could get it, I guess. And driver off the deck, I guess. Doesn't seem to matter that much in Mario Golf, although the trajectory is less than ideal. Ooh, see, it's a little, little iffy, but. I can work with that. And now, when a, when a hole is on a mound like this, your best bet is probably to aim past it and wherever the like closest flat spot is, like if, if you were to just aim straight uphill. But in this case, there really isn't that good of a situation anywhere that I would go to, unless I'm like really perfect and land it, oops, land it like right, like somewhere around there. But I'm not that good. Although, maybe I am, I don't know. <laughs> but what I'm going to try to do here is land it into the slope and then stop it with backspin. So here we go. Oh, oh that's under hit. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't... Well, maybe that. Maybe I can get away with it. Yeah, it, it's under hit because it's going to roll back down a little bit, but it's, it's still alright. As I said, my miss hits, not that bad of a miss hit. <laughs> that's, that's what I would call a miss hit. Uh, yeah, that when the hole is on a mound like that, it's really difficult to get close to it. So don't don't feel too badly for not getting a birdie on holes like that. <laughs> but I got still got a birdie, so the birdie train keeps on chugging along, and maybe I can pull it on another one off there again because there's a nice flat spot for me to work on. Uh, Uh, yeah, that's good. As long as I make sure to backspin it, it should stay in control and on that lower flat spot. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I wasn't trying to aim directly for the hole, I just wanted to get on the flat spot. 
Again, I'm not really aiming for chip-ins at such a distance, so... <laughs> Around the green, I'd be going for the chip-in, but... From that distance, no. Oh, and in tight pin locations, as I showed you before, you might want to hit into the rough so that it slows the ball down, but I don't think that's going to be necessary for me here. I'm just going to hit under the ball and regular backspin. I got my trajectory up a lot higher, so that'll help quite a bit in stopping the ball. And look at that. On the flat spot again. <laughs> I don't think I'll have to move the cursor here, so I'm just going to overhit it a little bit so it takes the break out of it. And another birdie. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'm going down the hill this time. No bunker, please. No landing on a mound, please. I miss hit that, please. <laughs> so don't go in the bunker, because I won't be able to make the green in two. Okay, I just skipped right out of it. It's not usually an issue with a driver or anything like that. Bunkers are more of an issue when you're hitting into it with a high trajectory, because then it, you know, it kind of stays in the bunker, because it plops in the sand, that sand takes all the, the power out of the, the landing, or bounce out of the landing, excuse me. Um, over here, I'm gonna hit on top of the slope, this, this little mound here, and then I'm gonna uh, super backspin it on the flat portion of the green. Got it! Oh, uh, that's a little... Oh, shoot! I didn't super backspin it. Well, that's gonna be off the back then. <laughs> yeah, I gotta control that spin. Oh, because mm, I was hitting the B. <laughs> Anyway, I don't think that this is going to be much of a problem to hit in, because I think the wind is right with me, so I'm just going to kind of let the wind trickle it over. Oh, oh there it goes. <laughs> yeah, that's how things roll when you're Mario golfing with PK Gam. <laughs> Chip-ins are pretty common when I'm that close. And there we go. I just wanted to power through that. Because maybe, maybe this time, I can hit this green in two. Just potentially. This looks, oh yeah, look at that, 214. Oh, I didn't know about, like, I, I didn't know how well I'd be around the cactuses. Oh, 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 I have a shot. I have a shot. Uh, this is going to be quite a shot, though, because look at this. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try my best, though. And this time, super backspin. Oh, shoot, I missed it. But that doesn't mean too much. <laughs> it still might be on the green. And not quite. And if, if I knew how close I was to the green, I would putt this. But I can't really tell that well here because it went in pretty quickly. So I might have gotten further past the fringe. So what I'm going to do here... Well, actually, I could try the putt just for kicks because I might... Because I have an easier chance making the putt by just moving a smidge over to the left. And hope for the best. But you see, the thing about putting... Yeah, that, that's right. That's what I mean. Is that if, you, if you're putting out of the rough and you don't know exactly how you are away from the rough, it, you can have one of those really tiny shots that just don't go all that well. But I just thought I would show you and see how it goes. Oh! So close. That's all right, though. I am still many strokes ahead. <laughs> and, yeah. So if I would have chipped that, I would have gotten a birdie. But, ee, as I said, I, I'm not too concerned about that now, since I didn't get that technically perfect around anyway from the start. So <laughs> I just wanted to show you some shenanigans. Now, you, you'll, you'll be able to tell how close you are off the green if you actually just barely trickled on off the fringe and into the rough. So, you know, it's, it's not when it's going fast. When it's going fast, generally what happens is that it goes too far into the rough for you to be able to putt it, and like to, to any predictable fashion. And, oh, that didn't quite make it. But so anyway, uh, I will try and putt this in with the middle putt since I'm just off and on the fairway, but I'm gonna have to hit this pretty hard. Uh, oh, 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 yeah, it goes in. <laughs> See? Chip-ins common nearby the green. And yeah, since I was messing around on 17 there, no birdie, but that is okay. I still won the tournament with flying colors. Uh, that's enough for a level up for both of us. Uh, actually, I'm gonna probably like, level him up twice. Because, as I said, he needs it more than I do. 
Although I will need it for the mini games and stuff like that. I'm gonna go for a drive distance this time. There we go. For him, I'm gonna go for impact area because he really needs that. And I guess. Uh, yeah, more drive distance. Everything seems to be in ideal conditions. And sure enough, we're gonna get our obligatory congratulations trophy along with a small fanfare. Along with confetti, it's... Just, I don't know where it comes from in the air there, I mean... Did it really shoot it up that high in the air? I don't think so. Maybe it came from a blimp or something like that, I just... I'm just a little confused about that. <laughs> Link's tourney is up! Dune's tourney high score beats... New hole 17 is out! Oh, there's some lucky stuff left and right! <laughs> That, what do you mean, surprising win? I had this win before the game even started. You should have just given me the trophy before the thing even began. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Whoop, 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 whoop. So anyway, with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you in the next part when I go find... Yep, there she is. The singles match. <laughs> Saving. Saving.